I am so excited. I'm gonna be decorating my guest bathroom today for fall. It's starting. The fall goodness is going to be happening in my home today and I'm really excited that I get to share this with you guys. We're gonna have a haul first and then we're gonna decorate and yeah, so let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so I'm just gonna show this haul in this way instead of like a sit down formal because I wanna get to the decorating. So we're gonna go through this a little bit quickly. So as you can see, we're seeing a couple of pillows here, two mustard yellow colored pillows and two orange ones that have a little button detail. That's gonna be part of the decorate with me, um, but I'm very, very excited about what the living room's gonna look like this year as well. Up here we have some cream colored towels. These are gonna be for the guest bathroom. I don't actually have a, a big towel for that room because no one takes a shower in there but I think that it will just emphasize that it's a bathroom yeah so I just got a large one I don't know how I'm going to decorate this or you'll you'll see what I'm talking about but and then I got a hand towel I picked up these gorgeous cream colored flowers we're definitely going with a cream look as our, our main color. You can see this pumpkin is also going to be used in the bathroom as well, and you have some burlap, and then it also has this green little leaf, so that should bring in additional color into the bathroom as well. Uh, I also picked up this gorgeous, look how pretty this is, a little cake stand. I thought maybe this will work in there. I don't really know, sometimes I buy things to use it and I'm not sure if it will end up in there. So we will find out together, but when I saw this, I instantly liked the galvanized piece to kind of break up all the wood and I liked the vintage look and there's that cream again. And I thought it would be pretty to put like the hand soaps and things like that. It was $12.99. Um, probably get a better deal at Hobby Lobby, but you know, sometimes there's just more unique stuff in other places and I don't want my whole home to always be Hobby Lobby. So, I digress. I got some hand soaps from uh, lakesidecollection.com, which was in a recent uh, haul video, and I'll link that down below. And then I got this little gorgeous set here. I really, again, like the, the main color seemed to be this cream, but you also have the fall warm tone colors, and there's that green popping through as well, and then you can see there's like straw element in there. So it's very, very pretty. And then we have some Halloween pieces. We have three pieces here, and I thought that this would be perfect to switch out my guest bathroom and do a Halloween theme during October. So as you can see, I kind of mimicked getting a pumpkin for Halloween. So wherever I put this pumpkin is probably where this one will go. Then I found this, which I really liked. It's this wood piece, and it's actually supposed to light up. Where's the, here we go. As you can see, it just kind of changes colors. It's just really pretty. There's cute little bells on top, and it was $14.99. I thought that was a pretty darn good steal. So, I'm very happy with that. And then you've probably been looking at this pillow because it is magical, it is everything. And the camera is not even doing it justice because in between, I don't know if you can see, there's this pop of gold. It says Midnight Moonlight and Magic. I absolutely love this. I got this for the living room. I'm obviously not gonna put pillows in a bathroom. Um, yeah, I just think it's just so gorgeous. And there's just this really beautiful bead detail so I'm gonna have to take extra good care of this pillow. All right so what I like to do is I like to get out all of my decor that I think I might like to try and put it out all on the table. That way I can just kind of see everything. I can come and grab and exchange. Obviously not everything is gonna end up in the bathroom but I want to see it all together. So that is the first thing I do and then I clean the bathroom and then I get to decorate. So to get this space cleaned, the first thing I need to do is clear everything out. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab everything, move it out, and then get the countertop and window or the mirror cleaned. All right, 
now that I got the space cleaned, I'm gonna go ahead and start just bringing in the decor. I don't have an idea really of, of how this is gonna be. I have no clue. I'm just gonna start pulling things in and seeing if I like it or not. Alright guys, so this is the finished product. I really like how it turned out. There is quite a bit going on. I'm not quite certain about this piece right here. I feel like it's a little too rainbowy for me. So I think I may go to Dollar Tree and pick out two more of these and then replace the green and the orange with the beige. I just think it will look a lot better and a lot more I guess mature, I'm thinking that for this specific spot, the three trio just isn't working for me. But I do love that I added this plaid ribbon. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby around the towel here. And then this piece is just so, so pretty. I'm really glad I found it. It works really well with the wallpaper. I don't really know what's up with the wallpaper in this house, but and then over here, you can kind of see I kept the same concept that I have in my everyday decor for this bathroom. I kept this piece, which I don't remember where it's from, but I'm sure it's in my original bathroom makeover video. I switched out the flowers and put in these just to really bring out the cream. I wanted one specific color to be my main color, and that's the, the beige -y cream. So. And then over here, I put in these two new pieces. Where did I get those from? It's, it was in a recent haul. There's actually an orange one as well, but I didn't, again, I didn't really wanna do too much of the rainbow-ness together. So I just like that it's cream and a little bit of green over here. And then you can see I added the hand towel right here because the towel holder is back here, but I just did not like this 
over there. So I just didn't like it. And then over in this corner, I love how this turned out. I put in the Apple Crisp uh, hand wash and then the hand lotion, which again, I got at Lakeside Collection. I'll link that haul down below so that you guys can see everything else that I got. And then I added this little, oh, I just burnt myself. I added this little um, piece from the at-home store. You can just see that it's got the creams and then you got the pops of the orange. So it's really nice. It really brings out the color of the hand soap. And then over in this corner, I wanted it to kind of have something because I do like the look of I don't want to say clutter. I like the look of things. I, I don't like minimalism. It's not for me. I like things to just, I don't know, be abundant. I don't really know what word I'm looking for. And I found this old piece. Wow, that that candle is hot from right about here. That's crazy. Um, so this piece is just a little bit more on the Tuscan side. And yeah, so I just put in the middle here. You see I put in this pumpkin on top and you probably saw me switch in and out the yellow versus the orange, and I just thought there was more orange than yellow, so I wanted it to be consistent and not just be a variety of color kind of everywhere. So I absolutely love the way it turned out, and then this candle that's burning me from way up here is the Dollar Tree candle. I have the lid right here, which is the Spiced Pumpkin. So it's very, very pretty, and I think that when you are decorating for fall, it's just an added touch to add scents so that not only you know are you incorporating your sight, but you're incorporating your smell um, as well. Yeah, anyway, so that is this side. I mean, I absolutely love this bathroom. I went ahead and put in a roll of toilet paper. The reason why it was not there before is because Loxie will come in here and she'll pull that right off and she likes to eat rolls and rolls and rolls of toilet paper. But I don't know if you can just kind of tell like the colorfulness over here, it's just not working out for me. So we're gonna make a trip to the Dollar Tree and again, just I'm just gonna get two more of those and hopefully I'll find them. And here is the switch out. I went ahead and ran to Dollar Tree real quick. And I don't know if you can just tell, but it just, Definitely looks a lot better, especially since I have a couple of different patterns going on here. I've got the wallpaper, Harley Quinn type pattern. We've got this plaid going. So I just thought the, the colorful candles were a little too much and I just absolutely love the way that it looks all one uniformed color. Anyway, you guys, this is my guest bathroom. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and pulled some inspiration from this. And if you de decide to decorate your bathrooms, uh, DM me pictures on Instagram so that I can see it. Um, or I don't know, comment down below and create a hashtag for Instagram so that I can check it out. But it has to be unique so that I'm able to find all of y'all's pictures. So maybe something like hashtag crafty girl fall bathroom or something like that. So anyhow, I absolutely adore the way that this turned out and I can't wait to do the rest of my house.